it's so hot in my room right now like i don't even i can't Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lily. I'm a college student at Bryant University and I post mainly lifestyle and college related videos. I also do some health and wellness, which I'm not qualified to do, but I share what I know. So you should stick around and subscribe if that's what you're into. So over the course of like this whole quarantine situation, I have been gaining a lot of new subscribers and followers on Instagram, which are like super great. I'm super excited about that. So if you're new, thank you so much for sticking around. But because of that, I felt that like maybe like a Q&A was like due because I don't think I've done a legitimate Q&A that was like a personal one in like years. Like I don't remember the last time I did one. So I thought I would do one just so you can get to know me a little bit more. Instead of me just sitting here reading the questions, I'm gonna also be reading the questions and answering them, but I'm gonna get ready for essentially nothing. So I'm currently filming this on May 30th, which would have been the Zac Brown Band concert at the Xfinity Center in Connecticut. Um, if you know me, you know that I love them and that would have been a time for me. So I'm a little upset, but I'm lucky if that's like my biggest struggle at the moment, you know? So I'm just gonna start getting ready because I can't look at myself like this anymore. Also, this is just like a get ready with me, I guess, in Q&A. So like, I'm not really gonna be like giving a makeup tutorial because I quite honestly don't even know what I'm doing, but I'll have all the products I use linked down below. So you can check them out down there. I actually got a lot of questions, which is really exciting. First question is, where do you see yourself in five years? Let's see if I'm, I guess technically, I'll be 24 turning 25. <laughs> My dad was married at that point of his life, but I will not be. I see myself graduated from Bryant. I would necessarily be in a graduate program. I don't know, because I honestly don't know. I don't know. Okay, like unpopular opinion because I know most people my age don't feel this way anymore at least like out of my friends but like I am a very I don't know like I don't want to be like married in five years but like I don't know if I had like a serious relationship you know that would be ideal five years from now I just hope that whatever I'm doing I'm successful at it because that's all I could want for myself. Like, I hope I'm like successful in the sense that like, I'm happy doing what I'm doing and I'm able to help others and do what I want on my terms, if that makes sense. I don't know, that was a very weak answer, but I don't even know where I'm gonna be tomorrow. Do you and your siblings get along? So if you didn't know, I have three sisters, which I feel like I talk about that quite often, but you don't know i have three sisters i would say we get along pretty well like we have our moments a lot of um teaming up on each other i feel like like we get into moods where it's all like like three of us will not like one of us and it gets awkward like sometimes everyone teams up against me sometimes we all team up against another sister it really depends but I would say for the most part we'd get along, but we also kind of don't really have any other choice because if we fight, um, yeah, my dad does not, <laughs> does not like that. And yes, I'm 19 and I still get, like, in trouble from my parents like that. Like, my sisters will tattle on me. What are you most excited about for this fall? I feel like this might have been, like, a recurring question because, like, obviously college is kind of, like, my brand at this point. I'm very excited to get back to football in the fall and i mean it might not happen but i'm hoping it does because obviously dance team is another one of my personality traits and i just love game days for dance team because it's just so much fun like i get to dance and cheer on the sidelines with my team and but then also i just like i love the energy and I I mean I go to a small school so it's not like like Alabama it's not that intense it's really not that deep but 
I don't know like for me like it's just something I look forward to when I like and like I just miss like in the fall the weather's nice I'm like out in the sun all day like at the game and then I go back to my room take a little power nap and then we go out at night like I don't know I just miss that vibe what do you want to do post-college and like what's your dream job so this is like another one that like I kind of don't really know because I'm like all over the place when it comes to this because I kind of have very differing interests like I right now at school I'm a finance major which like is cool but I'm also only a freshman so like I haven't really done any sort of class that really relates to that that much yeah i'm a finance major and what i would want to do like with that is i would want to do like wealth management or like financial planning like something like that but also obviously social media is a big part of my life so like ideally my dream job would have something to do with social media it's just like not like it's kind of hard to have stability with that because it's always changing like bryant has a digital marketing program now that i might switch into just so i can like ideally do something with social media because like everything i do really pertains to social media like I do YouTube, I do have my Instagram, but then everything I'm involved in, like in my sorority, I run my sorority's Instagram now. For the dance team, I run the dance team's Instagram now. Like that's just like what I do. And it's always sort of been something that I did and like part of like, kind of like my brand, I guess, and like my identity. So like ideally maybe something with social media, but who knows. What's your favorite thing about college? Um, my favorite thing about college honestly there's so many things i like about college but i guess they all would be like bottled down to like just the fact that like i have freedom like i don't have like wicked wicked strict parents but like i can just do whatever i want like with my life in my home because i, I am a child in my parents eyes still and i mean i guess technically i kind of am like but um they still like i have to get like their approval to go places and stuff like that which like i understand because i live in their house so like it makes sense but that's just something that's so good about college that like basically i get to make my own decisions and do what i want and like i don't do like crazy crazy things like it's just like a matter of like if I want to stay out with my friends till four o'clock in the morning, I can. Whereas if I did that here, my parents would be very confused. How did you get started with Instagram and YouTube? <laughs> if you know, you know, Lily R5, but okay. So I feel like I kind of dropped this branding of myself when I went to college, which like, you know, could have been for the better. I mean, to each their own if you knew me growing up you would know that i was like ceo of r5's fan club i was a fan page for them for ever like i literally was a fan page to them and um i made a youtube channel to like make like that's like when i would make like q a's and like stuff like that because like i did have a pretty big following on it but obviously i outgrew that and sort of just switched to like being like an influencer i guess which like i don't even really think i qualify to be an influencer like have that aim but whatever yeah that's kind of like when i switched over to that but like if you know you know like i was r5 obsessed if you could eat one food for the rest of your life what would it be bread and butter hands down bread and butter i have i had a lot of questions pertaining to this how did you make friends and meet new people in college so for me like i lucked out in that okay i can't talk and do that and you get plumping gloss on your tongue and it's just the worst feeling ever okay since i was on dance team i moved in early for like preseason with the team so i met freshmen through that because there were obviously other freshmen on the team and then that's also how i met like upperclassmen and stuff from the dance team but so i got to know those girls and then when everyone else came i mean i don't know if i'm not speaking for everyone on the dance team but i feel like since i had already been there for like a week i was already like pretty i mean i wasn't like 
I'm a regular to the campus, but like I just felt like I was like, yeah, like I've been here and I've been living. So like, I just feel like I was overall less overwhelmed when like everyone else came. So like, because of that, I feel like I was just like gung-ho ready to just meet as many people as I could. And I was just cracked out and like talked to everyone. But yeah, I don't know. I would just say keep an open mind and remember that everyone is new and no one knows what's happening. So like, I don't know, just keep an open mind and know that you're not alone. Like everyone, all the other freshmen, whether they just do a better job at hiding it or not, like no one knows what's happening. You guys are all new. I personally didn't really have a difficult time making friends. I also just think that's because I'm a crackhead. Emily, you're such a crackhead. No, but like, honestly, it's, I'm going to be straight up. If you are a social person, you're not going to have any problem making friends. And I'm not saying that to scare you if you're like introverted and don't like talking to people. I just, you're going to find the people that you're going to connect to. So like, if you're a very introverted person, like, you might find a group of introverted people that you guys just like come together on your own, I don't know. And like, I'm not trying to sound ignorant, I'm just not very introverted myself. So like, I will go out and talk to people, but like, that's just me. You're gonna, especially in the first few days and stuff, like you're gonna, it's gonna be a lot easier to meet friends than you think. Like, you're surrounded by people. You just have to put yourself in the uncomfortable, awkward situation of like, breaking the ice and talking to people, but like, you will make friends. I believe in you. What's your major? Uh, I already said I was a finance major, which like, <laughs> will we stick with that? We don't know. We'll see. So I finished my makeup, but I still have a million more questions to answer, which like, I wasn't going to answer. But I think I'm going to curl my hair because I want to, but it's so hot. So I don't know if I'm gonna survive, but. Yeah, I'm gonna curl my hair and finish answering the questions. Legit, how do I have... What has been your favorite thing you've bought during quarantine? I don't know why I couldn't read right there. Oh, wait. I, like, forget how long quarantine was. Um, it would probably be... I'm gonna wear them in this video because I bought them for the concert, but I got, um, two pairs of, like, cowgirl boots. Like, they're, like, little booties. Oh my god, they're so cute, but... That's probably my favorite thing I bought. Do you still talk to people from high school once you went to college? Um, yes, I still talk to people, but like I know people that legitimately don't talk to anyone. But yeah, I don't know. Like my friend group, I feel like we're the type of friend group that like we don't have to talk and like fill each other in on our lives 24 seven all day, every day for us to like still be friends. Like I feel like I could go through like a time where like I haven't spoken to a lot of them. In a little bit which is like my own fault but like once we're back together like we just pick up where we left off and it's like fine so i feel like that's probably like a common thing with friend groups but yeah i don't know i still talk to like a good amount of people from my high school like whether it's like we just swipe up on each other's snapchat stories or like we have a streak or like we text occasionally like it depends but yeah i don't know i'm not someone that like completely cut out like every single person from my high school what is the first thing you want to do when quarantine is over? Um, the first thing I'm going to do when quarantine is over is go visit my friends. Um, I'm seriously having withdrawals from my college friends and we all live pretty much <laughs> all over New England. So, well, and we have some Long Island. But since we do live all over, obviously I can't just like go and like visit them for the day. Like a lot of them live like too far away to do that i don't know but jill lives in connecticut and i'm actually hanging out with jill tonight so i'm excited but yeah i'm i want to like be with all my college friends like my little friend group like whether they all come to my house or, like i go to one of their houses and we all just hang out together but that's what, the first thing i'm doing once quarantine's over i'm so excited how are you <laughs> honestly that's really nice of you to ask um you know i'd be lying if i said it was completely okay but like, <laughs> we're fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been like in a funk recently. It's because I'm just such a social butterfly that like being cooped up in my home, not talking to people, is just really killing my vibe. But I'll be fine. I'm just dramatic. I have good days, I have bad days. What is your favorite makeup product? I don't know if this is makeup, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you what it is. 
it's the Patrick Ta um, Major Glow Body Oil. I am a big fan of like glitter, shimmer, like glow, I guess. Like I love putting that stuff on like my arms and my legs when I'm wearing like a cute sundress or something just to like make me look really glowy and like over like a tan, which like my tan's always fake if you couldn't tell. I don't tan naturally, but I love that. But like, that's not like, a, I don't know if that's necessarily like a makeup product, but if I had to pick like maybe like a legit makeup product, it'd probably be the Dior Plumping Lip Gloss. I Another thing about me is I only use plumping lip products because I don't have lips and um, I need all the help I can get. Is a double major worth it? Um, honestly, I wish I could answer that better, but I am not a double major, I don't know. But what I have to say about that is like, I know people who are double majors and it just like works for them because like the two majors just go so well together that like doing the double, like I, at least at Bryant, like for some majors, like a class can like qual qualify count i don't know for like credit towards both of them for some majors it makes sense um for some it's just like a lot of extra work which like if you're down for go for it youtube channel plans so i have a lot of exciting things coming up basically i'm switching now for the month of june i'm gonna do three uploads a week because i have nothing but time um I'm thinking about on Sundays, changing my Sunday upload to be like the day that I upload weekly vlogs or like um, just like weekend vlogs or like day in my life vlogs. But like Sundays will be devoted to like strictly vlog content because I didn't think that like my vlogs would really go off like they do because like who cares? I'm just like an irrelevant, stupid blonde girl from Connecticut. Like who would care about my life? But. I don't know people are like do more vlogs and then like people that i know directly are always like we want more vlog content and i'm like okay so and i also just like making vlogs so i'm changing sundays to be like strictly vlogs and then wednesdays will be the same like i've been doing and then my sunday uploads will be moved to friday so then i'll upload sunday wednesday friday and if that goes well i'm considering doing daily uploads in july I don't know. But I have fun things coming up. I have some collabs in the works. I have a giveaway in the works. I don't know. Good things. You should subscribe and stick around because it's going to be good. What is it like being on your college's dance team? So, not to plug myself, but I do have some dance team vlogs on my channel. So, you should totally go check those out. But i would say like i am i love it like i can't imagine myself not doing dance team like i love dance team but i have seen and i do know that it's not for everyone sort of like the bias in it i guess is that like i did my high school dance team if like if you know you know but my high school's dance team was palm and hip-hop so it's like a very similar vibe as to like what i'm doing at bryant so like that's what i'm used to and that's what i like and like i love it i love performing at the games and stuff but for people who come to do dance team from like studio dance like it's totally not their vibe and they're just like this is just not what i want to do and then like they just feel like why i put the time and energy because it's a big commitment to something if they don't like hands down absolutely love it which like i totally understand that like if it's not your vibe like why like you're in college you only get your college experience once like don't waste your energy doing something that doesn't really make you happy so i will say that about it but i love it and i literally don't see myself doing anything else like i love being on dance team how do you stay motivated you look incredible by the way um thank you carly love you you are always just too good to me but um i guess like how i would stay motivated is just like i sort of came to the realization that like i'm the only one really responsible for myself like i can't put the blame into anyone else for like why i do what i do like it's really all up to me so with that being said i just want to 
put out to the world and just put out to myself like in the mirror and on social media like whatever like the best version of myself i guess so like what motivates me is like that like i want to be the best version of myself and like i want to see what i'm capable of and like achieve what i know i can how are you doing during quarantine so like quite honestly i have good days i have bad days like i feel like as everyone sort of says like it's it's getting old but like you have to do what you have to do and like obviously being in connecticut like we had so many cases and like it was bad and like i understand why it's important to stay quarantined and all of that and like practice social distancing and doing my part but like i do get really frustrated sometimes when i see that people aren't necessarily social distance i mean now i like it makes sense because places are open and stuff so like duh but back in like the beginning when like we had to like this isn't like march like there are some people that just like didn't quarantine at all and like that made me so mad because i was like what the heck like we all have to do our part and we all have to do what we can and like the fact that like people are just like oh like i just want to go party with my friends like who cares like i don't know like that just pissed me off but to each their own like everyone can do what they want but yeah i mean i guess overall how i'm doing is i just get really bored but having my youtube channel and like social media to sort of like put my energy into has definitely helped and that's why i'm moving to do three uploads a week in june just because i feel like it'll give me more to do and like more to focus my energy into so that's exciting but yeah i mean like i've been i feel like like everyone says like good days bad days ups downs but i will say it's gonna get better and i know this isn't gonna be the rest of my life i'm pretty confident in that i refuse to let this be the rest of my life do you miss living on campus um absolutely i miss my beautiful bristol house dorm i miss like being legitimately with all my friends 24 7 because if you know you know i love to socialize so i just miss having my whole like life essentially just like there at my fingertips free to do what i want that i'm now locked in my childhood home and i feel like i'm back in high school again which like I don't really vibe with that. Yeah, I do miss living on campus a lot. What has this pandemic and quarantine taught you? It definitely taught me, like, not to be, like, dramatic and I'm not trying to sound, like, shady or anything. Like, this is just, like, legit. Like, it's definitely taught me, like, who my real friends are and, like, who the real people in my life are that, like, want to spend their time with me and like actually want to like like they're not just my friends when it's convenient for them like they actually like genuinely care about my well-being and like do miss me and do want to stay caught up with me and i've noticed this before this wasn't just like a new from the pandemic but i did have some people in my life that like were kind of fake and like whether these are people that i've known my whole life or people that I met at school and like I thought we were better friends but like we're actually not as good friends as I thought but whatever. I feel like the pandemic has really taught me like who like the genuine people are in my life and like who I should waste energy on I just because it's not necessarily wasting my energy because I want it and like who I should put in the extra effort to talk to and stuff because they're genuine and real and worthy of being in my life what's your favorite thing about your college so this is a little different so i'll answer it in its own but i guess my favorite thing about bryant is just like with it being such a small school i just love that i mean sometimes i don't love this but you just like always see familiar faces and for the most part like all the familiar faces you see like are just friendly people and like everyone's just so chill and like friendly and i don't know i just love 
the vibes on campus. It's like a little town and it's like so homey. I don't know. I just, I miss like going to the dining hall and just seeing like a bunch of people I know that I didn't plan on seeing. And I'm like, oh my God, I miss those vibes, you know? So before I finish my hair, I need to like let the curls cool. It looks insane right now, but this is what I do. This is my life hack. I let them cool so they don't get frizzy. Where else did you apply besides Bryant and why did you choose Bryant in the end? Um, I have a whole video on all the colleges I applied to, so I'll link that down below if you want to watch that. But um, I applied to like a bunch of schools. I applied to UConn, Bentley, URI, um, Northeastern, Endicott, Quinnipiac. Um, I think that actually might be it. But I ended up picking Bryant because one, I mean, it didn't make the most sense financially. Like I definitely could have gone to schools that were cheaper but i ended up i got scholarship money to go to bryant um i was just really happy on the campus every single time i went i liked the dance team and that's something i wanted to do in college and i don't know like it just definitely felt the most like at home for me but i have a whole video about this so i'll link that down below if you want to watch that where do you buy your party clothes i everything that i wear out is from Shein. Like, I mean, I always wear like my American Eagle jeans because we love the curvy collection, but all my like cute tops and stuff, Shein. I love Shein. Comment down below if you want to see like a college going out outfits video because I feel like that can be fun. And then favorite healthy snacks. Um, I am boring and I just like raw vegetables. Like I really like carrot sticks. I really like celery sticks. I really like snap peas. I love I just love raw vegetables like that. So I guess that's a healthy snack. Um, I also really like the avocado egg salad that I make in my what I eat in a day. Love that. And yeah. So that's it for all the questions, but I figured I would just like show you guys like my outfit and stuff too. Cause even though I'm not going anywhere and I'm not going to this concert, like I might as well just sort of pop off for a minute. I'm kind of looking like country Taylor Swift right now teardrops on my guitar anyone okay i'm gonna stop but i'm gonna get dressed and fix my hair and i will check back in when i'm done to show you the finished look Alrighty, that was so lame of me but this is the finished look top is from shein the shorts are from american eagle and the boots are from just fab i'm but uh, yeah i'm very upset i don't get to wear this so my camera died before I could film an outro and I'm an idiot, so here I am. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much for asking all these questions. I'm super excited to share all the new and wonderful things I have planned for my channel with you guys. So yeah, thank you guys for all your support. I'm legitimately like, I'm so thankful for you guys, you don't even know. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.